Dr. Lombardo, Claudio, thank you so much for giving us a, a few minutes. Uh, we work together a lot. Uh, you're the special assistant to the president of OECI. eCancer is the journal of uh, OECI, and we do a lot of things together. But you also uh, have a broader remit because you're involved with the European research uh, area. Can you tell us a little bit right. about that? Right. Uh, th thank you, Gordon, for this interview. I'm really pleased to introduce a little bit uh, the concept yeah. of European research area. The European research area has been developed uh, starting from the concept of uh, uh, living lab. The concept of living lab has been built in the US many years ago, then has been taken by the uh, European Europe uh, uh, in order to put together different uh, uh, possibilities supporting uh, research and innovation in Europe. So how, what is the, Euro the European research area? Is the, uh, uh, merging how funds coming from Europe, funds coming from national level, and funds from the European regions uh, allocated uh, this fund by the European Union. Okay. So what we need is to have a synergy among these three financial sources. Okay. Otherwise, our efforts will not have the final result we expect. The and less impact. Less impact. Uh, but I, I would like also to uh, uh, stress the fact that uh, uh, scientists and uh, 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 producers, uh, stakeholders, uh, but also final users should know more about uh, the existing possibility we have uh, in order to support uh, the process of translational cancer research. So starting from ideas coming from different countries, uh, now what we have and uh, what we should improve in the future uh, is a certain kind of uh, virtual circuit of translational cancer research that is up to now composed by different initiatives, independence one from the other, but that works together in a virtual manner. So I'm speaking about, first of all, uh, the uh, IRANET, for translational cancer research, TRANSCAN, where 23 countries in Europe decided to uh, work together in order to have a pot financing translational cancer research, open and specific call supported by funds coming from each uh, government yeah. participating to this internet. So which uh, government pays for the research going on in its own country? In its own country, right. right. So uh, uh, it's my impression that uh, this Heronet uh, will uh, uh, increase uh, the budget in the future because now uh, we are trying to involve charities. Yeah. And uh, uh, I suggest uh, to follow the activities of this Heronet because we will have a lot of surprise from my point of view in the future. Then the second point uh, and the second uh, uh, activity supporting this translational circuit is a, a, a Marie Curie uh, uh, project supporting the grants, uh, mobility grants for research in translational cancer research. This project uh, is called, has been already approved, uh, uh, is called the TRAIN, uh, TRAIN Through Research uh, uh, Initiative for Cancer Research. So this is the training aspect, but then we have uh, some European infrastructure of the European Strategic Forum on Research Infrastructure that can be used to support the cancer translational research. I'm speaking about the uh, infrastructure for biobanks, mm -hmm. the infrastructure for uh, 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 translational research, and the infrastructure for biotherapies and clinical trials. Then uh, we have, uh, as you know, the Eurocan platform, that is a, a network of excellence that uh, uh, help uh, the coordination activities uh, among a selected number of European cancer centers. But uh, I would like also to mention the educational activities that are performed by the organization of the European Cancer Institute and uh, the accreditation and designation system that is managed by the organization of the European Cancer Institute. So, uh, my impression is that we n must invest more in knowledge uh, of the existing opportunities. And uh, I think, I'm sure, that 
e-cancer medical science and the e-cancer app that we developed uh, 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 as part of the EuroCancer Comms project supported by the European Commission uh, will help us a lot. So we need to vulgarize the knowledge of the existing opportunity and more and more uh, giving the possibility to all the uh, uh, European research area uh, uh, participants uh, to know what's happened, what is running, mm. also what will be the future of sure. the European research area. Sure. Claudio, thank you very much indeed. That was crystal clear and you're throwing the challenge to eCancer to get out there and uh, spread the word. And yes, it's really my great pleasure. Thank, thank you, Gordon. Bye-bye. <laughs>